state of California. No, you don't have to parallel park. You just have to do something tougher. Today, we're going to give you three easy steps to back along a curb for approximately 50 feet. Stick around. We'll be right back with that information. Hi there, Smart Drivers. Welcome back. Rick with Smart Drive Test talking to you today about three easy steps to back up successfully along the curb for approximately 50 feet there in the state of California to pass your driver's test. The first and most prominent mistake that smart drivers make is they're too close to the curb and they don't have room to maneuver the vehicle and they get jammed up against the curb and that consequently are unsuccessful. So the first thing you need to do is you need to go out and get those 36 inch one meter tall pylons and work on driving along those on the passenger side of the vehicle because the passenger side is the second biggest blind area on the vehicle next to that out the back and it's a real kind of feel and learning thing. You have to sit in the driver's seat and if you get those tall pylons, you can actually see them as you're driving forward and reversing along them. The next step is to move to the smaller witch's hat cones because you won't be able to see them, but you will know when you run over them. Once you practice that, then you're ready to go out and back along the edge of a road. If you back along the edge of the road, you'll be able to feel when you get off the edge of the pavement because it's going to be a bit spongy. Once you can feel the difference between being on the pavement and being in the dirt, backing along the edge of a road, and then you're ready to practice backing along a curb for approximately 50 feet to be successful on passing your driver's test there in the state of California. After you're comfortable backing up with the pylons in the parking lot, go out and find yourself a road that doesn't have a curb and just practice backing up along the edge of the pavement before you start, you know, risking banging your tires and rims into the curb and really annoying your parents. Anytime that you back up along a roadway, make sure that you activate your four-way flashers to indicate to other traffic that you are doing something predictable and you can stay safe. If other vehicles come along behind you, just simply stop, let them go around you, and then continue practicing your backing up along the edge of the roadway. Into reverse, parking brake off, four-way flashers on. Also, with your practice in the parking lot, you've probably figured out that it's easier to use the passenger vehicle mirror because you can't see out the back. If you do have a backup camera, check that, but you can't use it as your primary line of sight. Check your mirrors before you start backing up 360 degree scan around your vehicle. Make sure there aren't any other road users, nobody there, and we start backing up. And again, we want to stay out a little bit so we have some wiggle room and staying three feet away from the edge of the roadway and just backing up, getting back over there, adjusting. We're just gonna back up all the way to the laneway here. I've got my foot on the brake here a little bit because I'm heading downhill. And I can feel the car when it gets off in the gravel there, it starts banging around a little bit. It's not like it's on the edge of the bitumen. And it's just that simple. Come to a complete stop, vehicle into park or forward gear, parking brake on, four-way flashers off, and that's all there is to it. Examiner's indicated that you're gonna pull along the curb, so mirror signal shoulder check. Pull over to the curb, but not too close. Stay two to three feet out. That way you have some room to maneuver. Bring the vehicle to a stop. Activate your four-way flashers into reverse. Looking out the back, 360 scan. There isn't anybody around you. And simply reversing and looking, checking your backup camera, your mirrors. And reversing along the curb. And again, don't get too close when we back up and the indicator. Uh, the examiner's indicated that we're done. So we bring the vehicle to a stop, hold the foot brake, turn off your four-way flashers into drive, forward gear if you're driving a manual transmission, signal on, mirror signal shoulder check, 360 degree scan, and we proceed. Shoulder checking again before we leave. Smart points to remember, work with the tall and short pylons in the parking lot, then move to a roadway that doesn't have a curb, but rather just a shoulder, and then finally work along the curb uh, and practice your backing up. I'll put the curb parking video up in the corner here and give you some other tips and strategies for backing up along the curb. But most important, stay out two to three feet. That way you have wiggle room when you're backing up to maneuver your vehicle so you don't get jammed up against the curb. For another video, click here. To subscribe, click here. And remember, pick the best answer, not necessarily the right answer. Have a great day. Bye now.